Now we will talk about the reproductive phase of the females. Okay, we are talking about reproductive phase. We are talking about reproductive period or phase of the females. Okay. Now children generally when we talk about the reproductive phase of the females it begins from the puberty okay it, it uh, begins from the puberty we have read puberty in detail uh, before starting this reproductive phase and before starting endocrine glands isn't it. So puberty begins by the age of 10, 12, 13 maybe 14 it depends upon the person to person it varies from uh, you know one female to the other female it varies in it, it has a different but it there is no fixed time or particular time that yeah this day this date this year when the girl will become this age or year or day the puberty will arise no but it varies but somehow the you know an average we can talk about is from 11 to 13 or 12 to 14. Okay, so this is the period when the reproductive phase of any female begins. That means the reproductive phase of the female begins with the beginning of the puberty in the females. Okay, now till the you know you know actually when the girl is born, when the girl is born, lot many okay, lot many eggs are already there. Okay, lot many eggs. What I am saying children, I am talking about that when a girl is born, her ovaries, okay, ovaries already have many thousands of ovas, but which immature ovas, okay, immature eggs are there, thousands of immature eggs are already there in the ovaries of the uh, a baby girl child, okay, a baby or a baby or a girl child, okay, but now when the when the girl becomes you know when the girl attends the puberty period okay when the girl attends the puberty period now now what will happen this these eggs okay they start getting you know mature actually what is happening the hormone which is they are secreted in the body it get mixed up with the blood it uh, stimulate the uh, you know uh, it will stimulate what children it is going to stimulate the ovaries and then due to that what will happen the uh, this eggs will start getting like it will become mature. In one month approx one month or 28 days one egg gets matured okay one egg get matured. Now this matured egg okay from the ovaries okay this mature egg from the ovaries will reach to the oviduct. Okay, it will uh, reach to the oviduct and through this oviduct or fallopian tube it is going to come to the uterus. Okay, through oviduct or fallopian tube it is going to come to the uterus. Now during this period children the wall of the uterus okay, uh, is already in preparation of you know what happens actually the wall of the uterus becomes more thick, uh, spongy lots of blood vessels get developed over there now why it's happening so that in case the eggs get fertilized in case the ovum get fertilized okay so what will happen it all these the blood vessels and the you know uh, all this soft uh, part will be required for the for the development of the eggs isn't it then what will happen zygote will be formed then embryo will be formed fetus will be formed and then baby uh, will be formed. So for this reason the uterus wall it start getting you know it gets developed. Now in case in case if ova does not get uh, fertilized in case the egg does not get fertilized why it won't get fertilized there can be many reasons but when these sperms are not there okay when these sperms are not there 
so the ova won't get fertilized okay in this case what will happen children now again it is going to it is not fertilized and there is no need for isn't it for the uh, thick spongy wall of the uterus because cell is not going to develop now further are you getting it clear because now the egg won't be getting developed further in case when it is not fertilized so what happens all this like the spongy part the you uh, know the lot of blood and all these things comes out of the vagina in the females this uh, along with lots of uh, like along with the dead eggs okay now this happens uh, within 28 days okay and this remains for 3 to 5 days again depending upon the person to person okay again depending upon the person to person now this is known as menstrual cycle okay so before discussing further we we'll just i'll just write points i'll just discuss it again so that at least this part will be very clear in the mind okay so now we have started what children uh, we are talking about the reproductive phase of the females we are talking about the reproductive phase of the females which begins with the puberty okay the reproductive phase in the female be uh, begins with what puberty so we will be writing many points in this reproductive period of the females okay so to begin with in females the reproductive period starts from start from puberty okay so it will start from the puberty this age varies from 11 years to 13 years okay now when a when a girl child is born its ovary contains ovaries contains thousands of immature immature eggs this ovum begins to mature after puberty okay then one mature egg is released by the ovary within Twenty-eight days. Okay. These mature eggs moves or reaches uterus through. oviduct or fallopian tube now the process 
of releasing ovary ovums or eggs from the ovary is called as ovulation now we'll talk again about these points now <clears throat> see we are talking about the reproductive phase of the female we are talking about the reproductive phase of the female which begins from the puberty that means which starts from the puberty till the uh, child with the girl child or till the female doesn't reaches puberty till the ch girl child doesn't reaches uh, to this age uh, she won't be able or she uh, is not considered in the reproduct like reproductive phase won't be there that means reproductive phase will become a uh, big <laughs> reproductive phase will begin in a girl only after the puberty this is very very important point that it begins with the beginning of puberty now what is ap actually happening this begins from the age from 11 years to 13 years it depends from it varies from person to person that means i'm talking about it varies from female to female it can be anything in between 11 years to 13 years now when a girl child is born children during the like when the child is born when the female child come into this world at that time only at that time also okay when the female child has taken birth at that time also what will what will be there lots of immature eggs will be uh, like it will be already present in the ovaries okay very important point to know children that in the ovaries of the girls immature eggs will be present okay it is there from the birth now what will happen now the eggs or the ovum begins to mature after puberty this maturity in the uh, egg will come only after the puberty now one mature egg okay now what is happening during after puberty what is happening children due to the secretion of the hormone okay due to the secretion of the hormone the egg starts getting mature okay the maturity of the egg starts like it begins now one mature egg is released by the ovary within 28 days uh, you know it is not the case that every day one egg gets mature not at all okay within 28 days one egg get mature okay so one mature egg is released by the ovary within 28 days where this will go when the eggs are see eggs are there in the ovaries hmm? they were immature before now as the puberty as the girl attains the puberty then the what will happen these eggs starts getting like they get they become mature okay ripening of the egg takes place now this mature eggs reaches where it will be going it will be going to the uterus through what it will go we have studied this thing in the um, previous one of the chapter previous discussed chapter okay so the mature eggs reaches where children it will go to uterus through what it through it will be going through oviduct or the fallopian tube okay through all uh, with that of open tube these mature egg will reach the uterus now <coughs> the process of releasing what children the process of releasing that means is ovaries okay they will be releasing mature eggs so that release is known as what ovulation that is this is known as what ovulation so till now children what we have studied we have studied we are that we are talking about the reproductive phase of the woman or a female this begins with the beginning of the puberty in the female the age can be from 11 to 13 or 14 years it depends from person to person it varies from a girl to the other girl now when a child when a girl child is born already uh, the ovary of the girl child has lot many or many eggs but they are immature then when they will become mature children 
these eggs will become mature after attaining puberty will all the eggs become will be becoming you know, they will become mature at the same time no not at all one egg will get matured within 28 days okay now by ovary one ovary okay so one mature egg is released by the ovary now what is happening ovaries uh, in the ovaries eggs are already there okay from the childhood these are immature after the child after the girl attained the puberty what will happen the ovaries which is having immature eggs the here these eggs will become mature and ovaries will release the mature egg now when this mature eggs are released this process is known as ovulation who is releasing ovaries okay ovaries will be releasing mature egg so this is known as what ovulation now children during this period only okay during this period what is happening during this period the uterus also get developed okay so what is happening during this period uterus get prepared how children development of thick and spongy wall okay then lots of blood vessels i'm writing this point in very short term because there is no place so during this period only what will happen uh, uterus will be preparing itself what will be happening over there the wall of the uterus will become very thick it will become spongy okay lot of blood vessels will be formed over there now children why it is happening so in the uterus why it is why the walls of the uterus uh, become like why the wall of the uterus becomes spongy little thick why so many blood vessels are uh, you know uh, covering that area because in case now pay attention in case this eggs okay the ovum get fertilized okay in case the o the ovum or the eggs get fertilized by the sperm okay then for the further development then for the further development this spongy part okay then for the nourishment all these blood vessels okay will be required will be required so till here we have discussed now there is no place to uh, we still have to wrap this side so before that we'll just just it out there is no place children thus the uterus is ready for the development of there is no place where to write i'll have to rub this okay so does the uterus is ready for the further development okay uterus is ready for the further development of the fertilized egg development of the fertilized egg that means when ovary uh, ovaries release the ova okay it will reach uterus so uterus has to be uh, you know it has to be prepared that if the fertilization takes place if the fertilization takes place okay that means the if the sperms are there the fertilization will takes place and then for the further implantation okay for the further implantation of the cell with the wall of the uterus okay so what is required the uterus wall has to be very thick now so this is what and if it happens this results in this results in pregnancy 
Okay. So we'll talk about pregnancy first, children. What is happening? See, a girl could not uh, uh, conceive till the, the girl do not reach to the stage of puberty. Once the girl has reached attain the attain the puberty, then she is biologically ready. Okay, for the pregnancy, biologically ready again to be look very specific. Only like she can produce ovums. Uh, okay, the majority of the eggs will takes place. Okay, I am not at all talking about the uh, age or about the right or wrong or nothing. I am talking about. I am just talking about like this are the changes which is happening in the body. No, so what is happening, children? When the ovaries are uh, releasing. Okay. Mature eggs. Now, in two conditions are possible. Very simple, in the simplest form. Okay, the ovaries are releasing the eggs. Okay, these are the eggs which are released by the ovaries. Now, if this, if I take the example of only one egg, okay, the eggs are being released by the ovaries. Now, if the fertilization takes place, that means if it comes in contact with the sperm. Okay. If it comes in the contact of this pump, the fertilization takes place. Okay, the fertilization takes place. Zygote will be formed, isn't it? Fertilization will takes place. Now, if the egg, if the ovum is coming in contact with sperm, fertilization is taking place. Okay, then what is what is happening, children? Then the uh, this zygote will be formed. Now, for the further development of the zygote, zygote is formed. From the zygote, the embryo will be formed. Then fetus will be formed, and then it will uh, converted into it will be converted into a baby. So, when the ovaries are releasing it, if it get fertilized, that means if it comes in contact with the sperm and the fertilization takes place, zygote will be formed. Okay. If it is happening, that means that the uh, female has uh, become pregnant. This is the only uh, meaning of what pregnancy. It's the meaning of pregnancy that the ovum is fertilized. Okay, the ovum has come in contact with the sperm. Fertilization has taken place. Zygote is formed. Now this zygote is going to be slowly okay it will be converted into embryo and then fetus and then child okay so every month within 28 days ovary will release egg which egg mature or immature now mature egg isn't it what was there in the uh, ovaries at the time of birth immature eggs were there isn't it now ovaries are going to release mature eggs these eggs Okay, this, this release of eggs from the ovary is known as ovulation. Okay, now these mature eggs when they come in contact with these pumps, the fertilization takes place. Then zygote will be formed and this zygote will be implanted in the wall of the uterus. Isn't it? And then the further development of the zygote will take place in the uterus. Okay, for that reason, for which reason? So that the proper development can take place, the wall of the uterus get developed. It becomes thick, it becomes spongy, lot of uh, blood vessels get developed over there. So this is how the thing happens. Now, if the sperms are not there, if the sperm is not there, okay, I'll say two conditions are possible. First, in first case, the egg meets with the sperm the fertilization takes place. Now, what is the second case? The egg is there but sperm is not there. Okay, egg is there but sperm is not there. So, fertilization will not take place. No zygote formation will take place then. Then children, what is the importance? Then there is no use of the thick and spongy wall of the uterus. Okay, then there is no use of thick and spongy wall of the uterus and so that is the reason this spongy wall and along with a lot of blood all this is thrown out of the body. Okay, 
all these are thrown out of the body which is known as menstrual cycle it happens within every 28 days okay now this happens and this remains till 3 to 5 days again depending upon uh, it varies from female to female okay so i think this one till here this part is very clear that again just think it out we are talking about the reproductive phase okay a female becomes uh, what it the female can uh, can become pregnant after puberty okay so a female can become pregnant after puberty so what is happening what are the changes which is taking place in the body of the female actually the ovaries okay the ovaries will release the mature egg due to hormone okay due to the hormone which has got mixed up with the blood due to the hormone this egg starts getting becoming mature now within 28 days over the egg will be released okay egg the mature egg will be released from the ovary the release of the mature egg from the ovary is known as what ovulation the release of the mature egg from the ovary is known as ovulation now where this egg will go this egg will go okay this ovum will go where it will go children it will go it will reach uterus it will reach uterus through what it will reach through fallopian tube or oviduct it is going to reach to the uterus okay now why uterus wall is getting developed because if what is happening i have told two conditions are there in one these are the egg okay ovum now if it comes in contact with the sperm okay if it comes in the contact with the sperm it will get fertilized zygote will be formed now for the further development of the zygote the uterus wall get developed okay so that this zygote will be implanted will be fixed in the wall of where in the uterus and then the further development will take place but if this ovum do not comes in contact with the sperm sperms are not there in the body then what will happen this egg will be now it will be it will be dead now and there will be no use of thick and spongy wall of the uterus now there is no use in the body of the thick and spongy wall of the uterus there is no use of this dead cell inside isn't it that egg inside so it's better that it has to be like a better way is what to to come out through this the body has to throw this out okay so till here is what it is pregnancy and if the egg do not come in contact with the sperm fertilization do not take place then this egg is of no use now there is no use of the thick and spongy wall of the uterus and so it will be thrown out this throwing out this uh, you know the, the the coming out of the waste okay the blood the thick wall and all this thing when comes out it is known as menses okay so till here we have discussed about the pregnancy now we'll talk about the second condition in which the egg do not come in the contact of the sperm and the fertilization do not take place zygote do not form zygote is not formed okay so what will happen i'll just write okay till here it is pregnancy now we'll talk about menstrual cycle so to begin with if the ovum do not get fertilized okay if the ovum do not get fertilized so what will happen children then there will be then there will be no use of thick spongy wall of 
uterus okay so now the egg will also be the ovum will also be what will happen it will die so what will happen all this okay so dead ovum along with blood comes out of the vagina this is known as what children this is known as menstrual cycle okay this is known as menstrual cycle okay so this is known as what menstrual cycle now we'll talk little bit about the menstrual cycle before that uh, i'll have to again clean this side okay so what we are talking about we are talking about reproductive phase okay this is the egg okay this is the ovum now this ovum mature ovum will be released by the ovary okay that means ovary will release what release ovules okay so what will happen this will be released now in the simplest way when this comes in contact with the sperm if it comes in contact with the sperm fertilization will be taking place zygote will be formed this zygote will be implanted in the wall of the uterus uterus wall will become thick and spongy so that the further development of the zygote will become possible this is known as pregnancy now second case when this ovum is not coming in contact with the sperm there is no sperm that means fertilization will not takes place when the fertilization will not takes place and what will happen this egg this ovum will be of no use along with that the thick wall and the spongy wall of uterus will also be of no use okay so all this is thrown out of the body through vagina within every uh, 28 days this is known as menstrual cycle now when we talk about menstrual cycle children it again depends upon the female to female it may be uh, there like Uh, what i mean to say is this waste may come out of the vagina out of the body uh, maybe for 3 uh, days or maybe for 5 days depending upon the uh, it varies from female to female okay so this is about what this is all about the menstrual cycle now the first when the girl attend the first menstrual cycle okay when the first it attends it comes okay the first menstrual menstrual cycle will come during puberty the first one which is known as menarche and okay this will remain this phase will you know it will be continued till years okay this thing happens in the female till years till uh, from what age to what age from the age of 12 or 13 okay 12 and 13 till the age of 45 maybe 50 again depending upon uh, the person to person female to female okay so what will happen every month the eggs will be released mature egg will be released if the fertilization will takes place the woman will become pregnant okay and the further development of the zygote then embryo and the fetus and the child will be formed and if the eggs do not get mature uh, do not get fertilized after getting after becoming mature if do not get fertilized then it has to be thrown out of the body this preparation of the uterus takes place every month without any fail okay and this if the zygote is formed if the fertilization takes place then the woman become pregnant if pregnancy is cancelled okay then the menstrual cycle occurs it is thrown away again the uterus prepare itself for the next uh, 
uh, cell next uh, you know for the it prepares itself for the development of the zygote every time this happens every month that the uterus prepare itself for the implantation of the zygote but uh, if the zygote is not available then again it has to be very very like it is very important to throw all these things out of the body so it comes out of the vagina if the fertilization takes place then it will be implanted in the uterus and then what will the further maturation will the further the zygote will mature and then the further stage we have studied will take place isn't it so this is how the menstrual cycle keeps on okay now just now i told this starts from the age of puberty it starts from the age of 12 13 14 depending upon the female which is known as what when it comes for the first time when it comes for the first time it is known as menarche now a stage will come when this fertilization of uh, when the maturation of egg will stop okay that means when the ovary of the female will stop releasing mature uh, eggs mature ovums okay then what is happening that means ovary is not releasing any there are no mature egg which are released by the ovaries so menstrual cycle will also be not like it will it will also be not there isn't it so what is happening now when oh, like eggs are not being produced when the eggs are not uh, mature eggs are not being released when ovulation is only not there okay what is the meaning of ovulation ovulation means release of egg from the ovary mature egg now when ovulation will only not takes place when the mature egg will only not be released by the ovary then there is no case of fertilization or anything isn't it that stage won't be uh, like we can say at that particular time the female loses the fertility okay it happens after the age of 45 or maybe 50 again varying depending upon person to person so after this when the egg, when the mature egg is only not released so there is no question of fertilization and there is no question of throwing that out if the fertilization do not takes place doesn't take place okay so that stage is known as menopause what is menopause children when the female loses reproductive power when the female cannot reproduce so this stage is known as infertile stage now the female has lost the capacity of reproducing okay now no more mature egg will be released by the ovary and when eggs are not released so nothing will be thrown out of the vagina so menstrual cycle stops okay menstrual cycles comes to an end after certain years okay it menstrual cycle will begin by the age of 12 13 14 which will come every month and after attaining certain period like till 45 to 50 this cycle will come to an end this cycle will come to an end now this period when it this stage when this mens menstrual cycle has come to an end is known as menopause okay so i'll completely i'll clean it and i'll just write two three definitions and we'll just test it out okay so please note this 